the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Yo, 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 this is Games and Graphics. You back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be converting XML maps into Y maps. Okay, so um, one of the first major requirements we are going to need is 5M and you will need your own server as well i will have a link down in the description to a video showing you how to install 5m and create your own server so make sure you go check that out and then come back to this video the next leak that we want to go to will be sunset coast mansion all right this is a a large huge mansion on the side of the road and it is dope it has um a little backyard thing with the uh, the pool and everything you know leading straight to the dock where you have your own boats i mean it's pretty cool so we're going to take this one just for uh tutorial purposes and we're going to download this one all right as i encourage everybody before you download any script or mod always read the description that the author has provided then you want to come over here to uh where it says 1.1 current and you want to select the green arrow to download okay now once you download this you want to go to the next link that will be map editor and menu to Y map converter. All right, uh, you wanna come here and scroll down, read the description as well. And after you're done reading the description, come to right here where it says 1.0.4 current and click on the green arrow to download. All right, now once you have those two downloaded, it should look something like this on my left hand side. I have both of our downloads that we just downloaded which is ME2YM, that's a map editor to uh, Y map. And we have Sunset Mansion right here as well. Okay, so we have both of our downloads right here. Okay, so what we wanna do first is go ahead and open up our ME2YM, open that up, and then let's go ahead and select ME2YM application okay this is going to be the application so you want to double click on the one that i have highlighted and then this window will pop up right here okay what we want to do is click on file and then click on um, open click file and open and now we want to go ahead and find our sunset mansion that we just downloaded all right so uh, go ahead and find the Sunset Mansion folder, open it up, and inside that folder we should find our .xml document, okay? So go ahead and select that, press open, then you should see uh, the calculations down here pop up. Click edit and calculate extents, and select that. When we're done, let's click, we'll select file, and then select export. Okay, click file and select export. I'm gonna export this to my tutorial folder that I have both of my downloads in. And it's gonna ask for you to name your new Y map, okay? So I'm just gonna name this Sunset. Okay, since it's called Sunset Mansion, I'm just gonna name it Sunset by itself, all right? Once you're done naming it anything you want to, go and click save or hit enter and we are all done okay now we could go ahead and close out of uh this window right here we could close out me2ym once you close that out you want to go to the location that you have your um new y map at the new location that you saved it at for me i saved it right here in my tutorial folder with both of the downloads that we downloaded earlier i just saved it right here and as you can see it says sunset.ymapxml document okay now what we want to do is on my right hand side i have my 5m server opened up right here and what i want to do is open up my resources folder so open up your resources folder inside the resources folder is where we add on to our server this is where we add on our clothes uh, scripts and all types of stuff okay so from right here what we want to do is create a new folder and then name it maps okay create a new folder and name it maps just like I have here once that folder is created open it up now we want to create a new folder and name it stream 
just like I have here, okay? Create a new folder and name it stream, all right? Now, right here, you might not have this uh, resource file right here, okay? You could do this. Uh, this is how you would add your own resource. I'm gonna go ahead and move this resource out of here. that this is how you could uh, create a new resource you want to right click and select new and select text document then you want to put underscore twice that's once and then press it twice now you want to enter in resource all right just like that resource hit enter now what we want to do is double click on it and open it up okay now what we're going to do is select file and select save as. All right. Now you want to come to right here where it says save as type and you want to select all files. Then you want to come up to the name. Make sure the cursor is at the end of the name and you want to press dot L U A. Okay, that's it. Just like this. You want to have the name say it just like this. Um, underscore twice and press resource dot lua. Okay. And then select save. All right. Uh, uh, you got to select save to. Uh, yep. Right here. All right. All right. Now we can close out of this. And as you can see, we have made a new resource dot lua file. Okay. You go ahead and erase this right here delete okay now you can open up uh, your resource file right here and this is what you want to put inside of your new resource that you just built okay you want to paste this inside right here I'm going to go ahead and get a close-up right here and leave this up for a little bit you might want to pause the video and copy exactly what I have here and place it in your new resource.lua file that you just created. All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and copy this right here. Actually, let just go ahead and place it. All right. Once you have copied that information inside your, so your uh, resource.lua file, you want to come up to your Steam folder that you just created. Open up your Steam folder. And here is where you want to put your white maps. Okay. So since I already, I have a couple of white maps in there, but I don't have the new one that we just uh, made. Okay. So you want to go to that location where you just saved your new white map. Mine's is right here. And you want to take it and drag and drop it inside the new stream folder that you just made. Right, and as you can see, mine is added right here. Sunset.ymap. Okay. So as we can go back, just to double check, inside of our maps folder, we have our stream folder with our YMAP inside. And we created our new resource.lua file. And inside, we have our resource manifest version and our correct scripting inside. And we are good to go. Now what you want to do is open up your server CFG. You want to open up your server CFG, which is your server uh, configurations. All right. And now what you want to do is add start maps to your resources. Okay. So just like I have right here, my resource list right here inside my server, you want to add start maps. Okay, right at the bottom of the list right here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new line to it. Then I'm going to type start space maps. Okay, and that's it. And then you want to save the file. Hit save. Okay. Once that is saved, then you are good to go. We can go ahead and run our server. All right, once you load in your game, uh, open up your map, and this is the location you want to be at right here, right where I have this red house. Um, you're not going to have this red house icon. I had added this into the game. I will make a future video uh, showing how to add on icons into the game and blips, should I say, okay? 
So um, right here on the map is where you want to go teleport to to get to your Sunset Mansion. All right. And as you can see, I'm already uh, teleported right here, and the house is behind me. When you get here, you're gonna see a gate. It's gonna be open, and there will be a huge ramp right there. Okay. Um, Slow down a car real quick. Yeah, you'll work. Thank Isn't you. this great? Sorry, I'm gonna have to borrow your avalanche real quick. There we go. Thank you. All right. All right, dear. Let's add some color to our car real quick. <laughs> All right. All right. There we go. Oh, she okay? She getting ran over in the street, huh? Okay. Anyway. Um. So when you get here, there's gonna be this ramp. Just go ahead and drive up it. You will see the house right here. Everything will load up. It should have all of uh, the objects and properties right there. As you can see, it's, it's right here next to my uh, my bunker. <laughs> all right. Okay. You could drive in through. Ooh, don't drive through the window. Okay. You could drive in through um, your uh, garage. Park your car right here. And we could go in through the house right here. Or you could go uh, down the stairs and check out your dock down there with the two boats and stuff, all right? Let's go inside here. And he always brings out his gun when he runs. Um, now, in single player, we would have water in here, okay? Um, I don't know why it doesn't have water when... Uh, when we convert the map, but it's all good. We have everything else. All the important stuff like the furniture, the house itself, the walls, the stairs, everything. Okay. This is the little chill area down here, the little play game area. You got your Xbox controllers and stuff on the table. Alright. And uh, this, I take it right here, will be the front entrance right here. So as you can see, you can park your car down here. That's what we did. And um, if you go down the stairs right here, this will lead you to the front entrance. Now, if you take a quick right over here and come right here, this is also a parking spot. All right. If you follow this ramp right here in the front, right where we made a left at to park in our garage, if you make a right, then you will be able to park on the side of this house. Okay. By just going this way. All right. Pretty cool down there. Let's hurry up and uh, check out the house before it gets dark. Okay, so we checked out the bottom part. We went through the kitchen, the back part with the uh, pool and stuff, and then the gaming area. You come inside here also, this little area outside. You got TV and some couches, nice little lounge area. And we got the steps up here. Very easy to walk up. You come up here, we have like a nice little living room area, you know, with the TV, stereo, surround sound, you know, all that. A couple of drinks over here. Yup, yeah, yeah. Perfect for role playing or whatnot. Then you got your gaming room right here with the pool table and the, um, and the ice hockey or the air hockey table. You know, you got TVs, couch, even got the darts back there. Um, you can walk outside if you want also and chill out here on these chairs. You know, got the telescope. Inside here is the bathroom with the washing area. You know, the, the uh, your washer, your dryer. We got the showers and bath. You know what I mean? And also, last but not least, we have our bedroom. It's the master bedroom right here. You got your computer and all that, you know, so you can check up on your cameras, you know what I mean? See people coming in, going out, trying to steal some shit, you know, all that. Alright. Instead of having to walk back downstairs, I'm just going to jump down here. He is okay, he is okay. Alright, it sounded like my car had fell through the garage, but we're going to go see. I hope not. Nope, my car is still here. All right. Well, folks, that is how you convert a XML document to a Y map to install into your 5M server. All right. That's a lot to say. <laughs>
So, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool right here, man. You know what I mean? So every time you load up the server, the house is going to be right here. All right? It'll be right here. All right. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and put him on overdrive and give my outro spill. If this video helped y'all to install it or if you enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button for your boy. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share the video with your friends that are in the modding GTA 5 and 5M servers. This is Games and Graphics. Me and my criminal ass partner. We are out of here till next time. Yeah. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.